Hello, I am Shaji. Uh, now I am planning to start a new video tutorial session for developing games using Java programming. And uh, here I have a, a small prototype for the game. Okay, this is the one. So this is a little uh, girl game with a girl with uh, some flowers and the girl we can move the girl by using the arrow keys up and down left and right and uh, you can see that uh, there are uh, two objects two flowers in the garden and the girl can chase the flowers and she can pick a flower once if she pick a flower uh, the, the girl's picture will be uh, highlighted or illuminated and she can go for a puzzle so uh, the thing is a combination of game as well as a tutorial edutainment so some uh, math problem is given this is the answer and there are three possible questions and we have to find the correct question for this answer so 5 into 2 okay my idea is if the correct answer is given or some score is given to the girl and some medal or something can be displayed and she can go for uh, next level after scoring certain amount of medals or the points uh, and one more thing uh, if the girl is moving beyond the boundary okay she can again it is just like rotating and similarly from if it is exceeding the left boundary the girl will appear on the rightmost side okay this is what the game is and uh, I have a small uh, audio clip to play when the girl is moving okay this is what the game is so when we talk about games we need some props okay you understood these are all the props so the girl is our main prop the user controlled object and we have some uh, objects like these flowers well, those things are automated uh, with the java threads it will be uh, appearing in different random positions within the screen so that it will give a, an opportunity for the girl to chase these flowers those things are not stationary uh, if you want to uh, change it to some other objects maybe butterfly also we can do it instead of these flowers yeah that's what the game is so uh, this game the main prop is our girl girl is having the property of moving uh, all the four direction once if she uh, catch the object the score one that is a flower so the girl will be eliminated and uh, the picture is different and she will be getting a puzzle to solve it and once if the puzzle is solved correctly she will be awarded with a medal also again uh, it will continue this is the scope of the game so as usual we have a uh, prop here and some automated props too and we have a game engine for the looping of the game okay, this game is uh, developed in uh, java programming language uh, i have a quite little large amount of code here it uses a jframe class to have the window to place the objects on it with a fixed size and some classes and the programming logics and some images loaded for the girl uh, the flowers and to play the sound when the girl is moving we have to give some sound that sound is also added okay this is the program yeah, it is a um, program coming about 400 300 lines of code with some conditions and all with uh, some if case conditions uh, in the coming videos we will discuss the uh, program in detail how to develop the program 
so this is the basic idea of the game which i am uh, planning to discuss with you so i didn't name the game and all okay girl in the garden maybe so this is a movable object we can use the arrow keys to move the girl and the other objects are moving automatically okay that's it for this video in the coming videos we will see the programming details and how to develop this game i will um, detail the programs and the codes involved in development of this application okay thank you for watching this video bye have a nice day